Let us out. We need to go doll hunting. I think I'm going to find some cool dolls in town. Please let me out. <laughs> let me out. I have to go doll hunting. Help me out. Philly, figure it out. She's getting reinforcements. <laughs> okay, let's walk around. We're back. It's been a while. Let's go. Music was much louder than I thought that it was today, so unfortunately we've got to do a narration, but that's okay. So as you can see, they've moved some of the more popular dolls up front, so like the Monster High, the Bratz, uh, and then there's some complete Monster High dolls here. I didn't show these too much, but I did end up picking up some of those. Can you guess which ones? I mean, you'll see in the hall in just a little bit. And then some My Little Ponies over there. I was really impressed with how much more organized the store is now. Um, and some of those prices, like, I don't believe they would actually be that if you took them up to the counter, but I don't know just depends I guess and yeah so and then over here these are the bins that will have the littlest pet shops and some other stuff I saw an apom from Pokemon I kind of wanted that not gonna lie to you but there was nothing else in the bag that interested me and uh the littlest pet shops are still dry I'm really on like a little pet shop kick right now but I don't know they're it's hard to find ones like lots online for good deals of ones that I don't already have. So, and then My Little Pony, nothing's changed too much in this area. I was pretty tempted though by the large G5 ponies, but I passed for now because they're pretty common at thrift stores and I have a few already that I'm pretty happy with. Um, yeah, and then Care Bears and some other stuff. And then finally, we're going into the doll room. So a lot has changed. I haven't been here in a minute. Um, so let's, let's just see what's going on. So we've got a lot of, interesting new stuff some stuff that's been here oh <gasps> what it's a barbie cat this is cool um and then down here we've got some bugs i have her um okay and then we have the doll room of course ah! <laughs> um so let's check it out see what's going on so this is a mariposa dress um it's it's been rearranged like a lot like it's so it's so nice out of nowhere well I guess because I've been gone for I, I mean what what was the last time I came here like two months ago we've got strawberry shortcakes here I need to um assess my strawberry shortcakes because they're all in or not all of them are up yet I think this um let's see oh look there's lights and stuff too what happened it's so nice um there's the Barbies in the big dresses I am hungry I'm, I'm worried that y'all are gonna be able to hear it <laughs> um and then we've got like the big dolls Okay, and then we have, oh look. Oh, that is awesome. I kind of hate that. Is that part of the design? Like I don't want that in my doll's house. Like what? <laughs> um, but this is really cool actually. Uh, I kind of love this. Um, hold on. Very carefully. The oven door was causing a problem. Okay. We got this, okay. Then moving over here, we've got the doors. Um, so, hmm. I wonder if anything new has come up since the last time I was here. Um, it seems like a lot of this, there's a lot of new stuff, but I don't know about in this doll department. Um, but still. All right, let's look through the doll. Oh, Disney Store Periwinkle. I have her, but that is tempting because it's the Disney Store one. Um, from the US releases, I don't, oh, I actually want you, but are there any more? I'm gonna check that in a minute, but right now I've tucked this bin down so we can take a look inside. I do believe that this is Sun Colors Pocahontas, and I do actually have her um, in box, actually, but it's like a terrible box, so I'm gonna open her one of these days. I've, I was saving her for a video, but vintage doll videos, you guys know, like, <laughs> unless it's a thrift video, um, I'm mainly doing like newer stuff because there's just so much to review, so. Um, the vintage stuff gets put aside as much as I love vintage stuff and honestly sometimes prefer making vintage videos. She's really pretty. A lot of really pretty Barbaras, but I'm very, very, very picky with Barbie. She's really cool actually. Um, I'm very picky with Barbie because I just have so many of them. Um, I recognize her too. Um, very 80s. Although you're gonna be like, actually that's a 90s doll, idiot. Sorry, I'm just, I'm not super familiar with older Barbies, but I just look for ones that like have, like that's probably her outfit. I look for ones that probably have their outfit and I also really like them. If her flower wasn't broken, I actually really like her. She's really cute. Um, not sure if I would buy her anyway, but 
Um, she is very cute. I like this nightgown a lot, actually. That is super beautiful with the flowers. Oh, I really like that. I don't... There's a problem with, like, the older Barbies, and, like, basically any Barbies, is that a lot of them have very similar faces. And I know that's coming from me, which is someone who doesn't collect them. So I'm not insulting the dolls by any means. But for me, like, I really like really um, doll lines with a lot of variants. Like, variants, not variants. Um, but, like, you know, like, there's just a lot of differences in the face. So there's, like, different characters and stuff. And I feel like that is pretty uncommon. So I'll like if there's, like, either a variant character or a different character entirely in a line but otherwise eh, I don't get too into them unfortunately um I don't know oh she should be in a different bin but I'm not gonna rearrange stuff in case that was on purpose I don't know um but there's a whole mermaid bin which is hilarious and awesome I love it um because there's a lot of mermaid dolls recently oh <laughs> Abakugan has snuck in who is he I like him look how cool he is he's like a it's hard to tell. Yeah, my little stepbrother had some, but... Oh, did you find something you want? Are you holding something? Oh, you're just playing with the Rubik's Cube. Got it. <laughs> one and I, still can't solve it. I can't. There's a there's a rhythm, yeah, there's a but lot. I don't know. I'm going to rearrange those in a second, but I want to check on this bin because I saw this Anna that I kind of want. So, Because I like the Ralph Freaks Internet dolls. It's just when they were in stores, I was kind of meh about them. Um... But if there's more like her, oh look, I like the Mattel Rapunzel and no glue seepage. Mine, my Mattel Rapunzel that I have has glue seepage, but I'll fix that before I buy any others. Cause they, they all have pretty similar dresses. There's a few that are really cool. Oh look, she has an interesting Pascal gimmick. Um, yeah, nothing I'm specifically after except her. So I found Meredith's brother. I forgot to be filming, sorry. Um, but look, I didn't notice her earlier. This is, I don't remember her name, but this is the girl from, was it Great Fairy Rescue? I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, so that's kind of cool. I've been looking for her in a capacity. It's sad though that she has a plush body. I thought she was a full-on doll online. Um, and then I noticed this little bin of more vintage stuff, if I had to guess, like why these are separated. Um, oh, that's the Mattel Bell. Um, I don't like that one's face very much. And then I recognize this doll I'm just, I'm not an expert on vintage. You guys know that by now. <laughs> um, this one's really interesting. Who are you? Look, she's like articulated. Oh, she's missing a foot. Aw. What company? You need a doll, Co. I actually have no idea what that is. Cool. I am not familiar. Um, oh, look, is this a glamour gal or whatever? My mom had a, or, I don't know. My mom had those when she was a kid and expressed to me that she really liked them. Oh, this is the... That's from when I was a kid. It's like the bedtime Barbie. Kind of tempted by her, but if, if they don't have a traditional fashion doll body, it's a hard sell for me because that's what I prefer. Um, is that handmade? <laughs> um, yeah, there's like so much stuff that they didn't have before. Um, not too much new going on in the doll department, but that's okay. Um, all right. I like department is literal. This is the doll department of the store. All right, this caught my eye. I'm definitely getting this. It's actually, we're like, oh, Isabel, do you see her? And then, ooh. I don't have a classic Maleficent. She's like shredded though. Oh, I actually kind of want her. She looks really cool, but bad condition. Too bad for me to fix. Um, This crappie bag is awesome. Oh my God, it's doll sized. Okay, this is a big maybe. Is it Sailor Moon folders? Brett. There's a bunch of them too. And then this one's different. Ah, oh, shoot, I'm getting those for sure. Are you kidding me? Okay, what else we got? See the laser disc section? That says laser disc, guys, I'm not stupid. The vinyls and laser discs. And then there's more stuff here. But yeah, I'm getting the $18 Brat doll towel. This is dope. And then Mario and Luigi up there too. Look at that one. Yeah, I, saw I like the big Raichu in a frame. Oh, they're putting the big Pokemon cards from the they look cute, man. Yeah. Oh, look, Yokiro Bell. There he is. And there's um, Galarian Mew? Is that who that is? No. No, Alolan? Alolan. Shoot. Hey, Pokemon Stadium Japanese in box one and two. Or two and three, sorry. Yeah. Japanese two and three. For only 40? Yeah, I mean, what are they worth in Japan? Worth that much. Did you see the GameCube games? Yeah, I see all the games. Yeah. <laughs> Breath of the Wild shirt, too. Up top. Big Slimer. 
Sailor Moon R on VHS. Oh, Brad, this is so cool. Look at this. Brad, the ultimate Pokemon experience, becoming a Pokemon master, the unauthorized documentary, two tapes set. <laughs> Bro. I like this. This is cool. I don't have a He-Man collection yet, yet. Because my dad had them all and he got rid of them. Look, oh, they have a bunch of cool stuff. See, Brett, this is what we had when I was a kid. Like, so the episodes that are iconic to me were the... Yeah. yeah. That we just happened to have from Blockbuster. You had to go through the shirts and stuff too. Guys, I actually want this, but it's $25. But how cute is that for storing my Barbie stuff? As if all my Barbie stuff was in there. Absolutely not. And then, like, there's so much cool stuff. Like, I feel like... Look, face hugger. But, like, I don't remember. Was that, like... I don't think that was Entertainment Earth. That was Think Geek, right? I don't remember. Um, there's so much stuff. Like, every time you look, you see another thing. Um, Minecraft cows and Minecraft sheep. <laughs> I thought I saw something that I wanted to record, but I forgot what it was, guys. Sorry. Maybe you'll see it and you'll point it out to me and be like, you idiot. That's fair. I don't know. And now it's time for the haul. So there's two different hauls from two completely separate instances here so the first one is from when we were in pensacola florida for our 10th anniversary trip and where i got engaged uh so that's what's in this bag and then the other bag is from yesterday when i was in um birmingham just thrift hunting like usual at nostalgia i didn't find anything at the america's thrift stores and my phone was almost dead so i didn't film at them but didn't really find anything i think thrift season right now is kind of phasing out i kind of have to get used to it because i've only lived here for a year so i'm not super used to like when the good thrifting is and stuff but Anyway, it is what it is. So our first bag is the, like I said, the stuff that we got from Pensacola. So let's check it out. Is there anything in this bag? No. Um, okay. I'm excited because I've just been waiting to be able to film this. So, okay. Uh, this I'm very excited about. So this is a Bratz towel uh, in like perfect condition. I think Pensacola, Florida, like a beach town is the perfect place to find a giant beach towel from 20 years ago but like oh my gosh check this out it's amazing so it's got the 4-4 release on here and it's just it's gorgeous this was just like an extremely exciting find because this is the type of thing that gets bought up and put in a depop store for a hundred dollars for no reason by like random people who are picking up on like trend hopping which bandwagon hopping on this hobby that is kind of fringe in society is not not great but anyway this was just a triumph to me i'm really excited about this i think this is awesome and the original bratz artwork is super cool i do have a comforter that's like uh like the 20 2007 ish bratz artwork and it's gorgeous and i really like it and i used to display it behind my bratz wall um or behind my bratz shelves um now i have this i'm not sure where i'm gonna display this yet i might actually just end up like using it if i go to the beach or something because it's just really nice and it's in excellent condition and yeah very very happy about this extremely cute uh, very happy to add this to my collection. You guys know that I really, really like doll line adjacent merchandise and collecting that kind of stuff. But with lines like Bratz, because of this like depopification of my hobby, um, it's become really difficult to find them at thrift stores. So this was a great find. And then last year, I think it was last year, it might have been, no, it was last year, I found Monster High, um, like Monster High towels at the thrift store. And that was super exciting too. Anyway, this next thing that I got was a little Karapi backpack. I just couldn't resist. It was like perfectly American Girl doll sized. I love Karapi. It was very cute. The material it's made out of reminds me of like what like video game accessory type stuff is made out of. Like this material, I feel like little video game carrying cases and stuff were made out of it. But anyway, it's just very cute. It's a little Karapi thing. I don't really have a lot of Karapi merch at all. Just... I don't know because Sanrio merch is either like the coolest merchandise you've ever seen like this isn't super cool by any means but it's different you know it's it's not the same but then most of it is like you got the same exact screen print of the exact same characters over and over yeah, and, and over I guess again. I'm just a little bit picky because I've just encountered so much Sanrio stuff it's really hard to find Sanrio merchandise that I'm not like just bored by because they they have this asset pack that every single company and Sanrio merchandises with a lot of companies there's a lot of Sanrio merch out there and with the stuff that actually is like released in America a lot of it's extremely boring I do really like the stuff that's like Sanrio store that was in the mall in like the early 2000s stuff and I've regretted it so much I've, I used to find that kind of stuff thrifting reasonably often and I would leave it behind and I regret it a lot I remember there's this little like 
three drawer little plastic drawer system for your desk Ugh, i should have bought it it was hella cute it was so cute but anyway like it, this is pretty generic you know it's just crappie's face but i liked it i thought it was fun it's a little mini backpack and it's embroidered instead of just being printed i liked it anyway uh next we have the sailor moon folders so i didn't buy them all i just got the two different designs that there were and this one's got this like really cool color palette going on and these will display really nicely with my sailor moon stuff and i just thought they were super cute because it's like screenshots from the anime specifically so and they're marked like 1998 and they're for the dub too they've got deke <laughs> they've got the deke logo here these were just a really neat find and they're in perfect condition and they're the kind of folders you were supposed to put in your like little binder and you could use them and yeah, I just found these extremely, extremely cute. And on the topic of Sailor, I, I only bought stuff from this one booth. Uh, I didn't really film in the other booths either, but um, anyway. I also got this Sailor Moon R VHS. I'm not a big VHS collector. I don't really collect a whole lot of doll media. I'll buy like very specific ones when I find them for good deals. Um, but this one appealed to me a lot because I just thought the cover art was really, really beautiful. Like obviously, I mean, I do have a VHS player, but it's not something I'm regularly using, but, and I can just watch this digitally whenever, but I just found this to be really pretty as like a collectible. And this isn't actually my first Sailor Moon VHS. I believe I have another one, um, but I just thought this one was so pretty. It's just a very pretty design on it. Yeah, there it is. Cool, cool. I really liked uh, when I was a kid, we had like some VHSs that came in this type of case. I love this so much. Like I hate the ones that are like the slidey thing and then you have to buy the stupid plastic case for them that makes this horrible sound when you pull them out of there. Do you know what I'm talking about? Ugh. I don't, unfortunately all of my VHSs from when I was a kid got sold except my Pokemon movies. Thank God I still have those, but um, so. I don't have all my VHSs, but um, again, I'm not like, I'm not starting a VHS collection. This is now my third or fourth VHS in my entire collection. Um, and I don't, I'm not seeking anymore, but I thought that this was very pretty. I, I thought it was gorgeous. So I grabbed it. Um, the exception is if I find Wings VHSs, even if it's like a hundred of them, I will buy them on the spot. Still not clear on how many of those actually exist if they do. Um, Cause Wings came out like when they were being phased out. Anyway, now we have our nostalgia haul. Didn't find as much stuff this time, but there was a lot of new stuff. It just wasn't a whole lot of new stuff that either appealed to me or um, I was already missing. <laughs> or I was already missing, that's not how you put that, but like stuff that I'm missing, you know? Um, and the way that store gets their stuff is very random. Like they just, they end up with toy lots and it's just completely random what can be inside. So sometimes it's vintage Simpson stuff. Sometimes it's a bunch of dolls from the seventies and eighties. Sometimes it's a bunch of stuff that I don't even care about. Like, uh, I don't know, Hot Wheels and stuff. So uh, they seem to have gotten a, quite a few new dolls, but not too many that appealed to me, which is totally fine. But that's why this haul is, I mean, this is still quite a bit of stuff, but um, usually I find like a lot. Anyway, so this is Anna from the Ralph Bricks, the internet Hasbro dolls. I didn't ever pick these up when they were in stores just because there's something slightly off to me with them. But I actually found this Anna very cute. And when I saw her and she had all her stuff, I was like, okay, I, I'm going to grab you. And I, I think that's how these are going to be for me if I happen to find them in a thrift store and it's one that I like. Because there's certain ones that I do not like at all. Um, but I just thought she was cute. I have the Ralph Bricks the Internet like mini doll set that's really nice from the Disney store. I'm missing one. But, you know, those are fantastic. So I think this is from the second movie though, right? They have different outfits in the second movie, but again, like it's fine. Um, but I found this one to be extremely, extremely cute and she's in pretty good shape. Should be an easy fix. I also love that she's like wearing sneakers, but they wanted to use the fashion feet. So they just made them these weird, like she's, <laughs> she's just on her toes in her sneakers. Um, cute, very cute. She was like, $1.99 or $2. Um, and then we have, I don't remember this character's name. I haven't seen this one too many times because it's, uh, I just watched Legend of the Neverbeast over and over and over and over and over and over again. It's my favorite. Um, but this is the person who like is taking care of Tinkerbell in, it's called the Great Fairy Rescue, right? Like the, the Tinkerbell movie, Great Fairy Rescue. I've been looking for this doll for quite a while. Uh, just waiting to find her at a thrift store. And I was very surprised to find her because it's been so long and I have not found her. So I just assumed she was quite rare. Um, she's very cute. Unfortunately, I didn't realize that she's not a true doll. She's like a, well, this still counts as a doll, but she's not like a fashion doll, like a plastic body doll, like I prefer. Um, but she's quite cute. I wonder if she came with like a little accessory of like the little, like cage she kept Tinkerbell in or something, or like the little journal. I don't know, but, um, she's very cute and she will be cute with my Tinkerbell display. I mean, maybe 
because she's the size of most of the Tinkerbell dolls. And then even the mini dolls are like this big, which doesn't make any sense. So I don't 100% know I'm, where I'm going to display her, but she was just really, really cute. And she's a doll that has been on my radar for a while. So I wanted to get her. There's a few Disney character dolls like this that are so... They're not like rare necessarily, like collectors aren't seeking them out yet, but they're pretty I don't remember if this is Disney 100% off the top of my head, but Oz the Great and Powerful, there's the little China Girl doll. Uh, I think she got expensive, but she's like... I feel like that doll's pretty hard to find, but you don't really see um, her going for too expensive. Anyway, I also found... This was so funny. I found one of Merida's brothers. Now, Merida has triplet brothers, but I was like, I've never seen one of them thrifting before. So I was on the fence. I was like, should I grab him? And I was like... It's $2. I do want him. If I end up with an extra, I can just donate or sell him. Like, it's no big deal. Um, so I grabbed him. And he's very cute. I think it's interesting that he has, um, like, rooted hair and everything. But then this, like, weird body where everything is sculpted. Like, even the arms. You can't move anything about him. Except his head turns. Um, so it's very weird. I wish they had picked a more fun pose if they were going to do that. And I don't even know... She's, he's just Mark Disney. Is it a Disney store one? Yeah, I have no idea. I've just, I would like to have Merida's brothers and he was very cute. So yay. <laughs> I have one. How much trouble can one cause? So we're good. Okay. Lastly, we have three Monster High dolls. So these were 15 to 30 each, if I recall correctly. And I'm really excited because it's really hard for me to find Monster High dolls that I don't already have, especially ones with their stuff to like the degree that I find acceptable. So like enough of their stuff that it's passable to me. So I got three of them, shockingly two operettas. You guys might not know, but I'm not the biggest operetta fan, but both of these operettas just spoke to me where I was like, yes, I want you in my collection today. So yeah, let me show you my operettas. So first this is Dot Dead operetta. She has so much of her stuff that it's frustrating because, <laughs> okay, she's missing earrings, which I don't really care too much about. Like it would be cool to have dolls like complete, complete, but whatever. Um, but she's missing her mask and one shoe. I actually think I might have her shoe. I need to go rewatch a video that I made where I found a bunch of Monster High accessories because these shoes are familiar to me. Ah, oh, but I don't, I recognize the front, but I don't recognize the spider on the back. I'm not sure. I'll have to see. Um, but, you know, I could just find a replacement shoe to put on her from like another doll. It's not too big of a deal until I find the actual shoe. And I just really like Dot Dead Gorgeous. I feel like when this line came out, I completely ignored it. And it's a really, really cute line. Like the dolls are really nice. And Operette is not one you see every day. So I wanted to grab her because right now my Dot Dead, I have, yeah, like my Dot Dead display is just, I put Laguna with the Dawn of the Dance dolls just because she needs somewhere to go. So now she'll have a friend. So yeah, I'm very excited. And she's really cute. Also, this was just a really fun, like concept for a line. Like let's just do polka dots, like polka dot dance done. It's very cute. Um, I would prefer to have Operetta with her mask, but I don't know. It's not that big of a deal to me. She's very cute. And someday I'm sure I'll find her mask. That's not with, if she was missing like her dress, that's a deal breaker for me. But having like the necklace and the belt and the headpiece and everything, I was like, that's more than enough for me. Like I'm happy. Uh, and she's display worthy. I just have to clean her up a little bit and find her a different shoe pair. Cause I don't want her to just wear one shoe. I mean, maybe I could like display her like this and kind of get away with having one shoe. We'll see. Uh, but she's very cute. And these dolls were in really good condition. I, I think they were either owned by collectors or just a kid that really uh, took really good care of them and didn't play with them too much, which uh, was really cool. So I'm glad that they're in my home now. All right, now we have, this one was a really cool find. As soon as I saw her, I was like, oh my God, yep, I am getting you. So this is Killer Style Operetta. Not 100, oh my gosh, she has Dracula's hands. Well, like Dracula's hand sculpt. I'm pretty sure those are her hands. Weird, because it's the purple skin. Uh, so this is Killer Style Operetta. I think she might be, oh, she has the, wow, this is really horrific, Lucy bitch. She might be missing some kind of headpiece because it looks like her hair was up at some point, but no big deal. She has her full outfit and her shoes, and this is not a super common Monster High doll, and I like her. I think she's very, very cute. I especially really like her mask. I think her mask is, like, really, really pretty, like, the shape of it and the way it sticks in as an earring instead of that stupid comb thing that Signature Operetta did. Anyway, before this, I had either two or three Operetta dolls. I, I'm pretty sure three, um, but now I have two more, so yay. Um, and Operetta is interesting to me. Like I have a love-hate relationship with her for sure because I really like the Signature one, but I don't know. But I, I she's, this one's awesome. I mean, I think this one's probably my favorite, um, but this one has more of her stuff, so I'm kind of inclined to be like, oh my God, this one, because she has her mask. I don't know. 
um, but these are super, super pretty. Very excited. And then last one, super stoked about too. This is Haunt the Casbah Abbey. I love the Haunt the Casbah line. I feel like it's very underrated too. And this doll has pretty sure everything, like even the earrings. You can see both earrings here. She's got the crown. It's all still like tied into place. Her hairdo is still in. And I only have Haunt the Casbah Frankie. And then I have Claudine, like, I think I only have her head, to be honest with you. So I was really excited to find Abby because um, one of my goals is to collect every Abby doll. I'm actually pretty close already just from what I was already collecting in the first place when I was collecting Monster High just because I love Abby so much. Um, not that I was ever intending to get all Abbies, but like last year I decided like I'm going to try to like seek out more Abbies and then I didn't ever get started on that, but it's something that's been in the back of my head. So finding her was like, ooh, score, there's another one. So yeah, I just thought she was like gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And even though I normally don't like to pay like $30 for dolls secondhand, I felt like she's complete. Uh, I mean, she's missing whatever like extra little accessory she came with, but that's fine. She's complete. I found her in person right now. I'm gonna grab her and um, I mean, it's a good deal for this doll. Like I feel like she sells for more than that, but anyway, she's gorgeous. She's in like really nice condition. Her glitter is like really, nice like I don't know it's just what I'm instantly feeling and then she definitely has glue in her head but it's not seeping yet her, her hair is actually very dry and not sticky which is really good um but I really want to wash her hair so I'm gonna be really careful she does have rubber band dry rot but the hairstyle is still intact thank goodness so I can just replace the rubber bands um so I'm gonna uh, need to clean her off as well of course I clean off all my dolls in some capacity even if they just go into a bin to wait for like a full restoration I still clean them off because I don't want like just disgusting dolls everywhere but um She's not going to need a whole lot of cleaning, but I'm just going to be really careful when I do it because I don't want to get the head too wet because I've noticed that when I give a boil wash to a Monster High doll that has glue, but it's not seeping, it makes it start seeping. I've done that a couple times and then I'm like, ugh, dang it. Why did I do that? Um, the, clue, the glue problem is such, uh, it's so frustrating because these are such nice dolls and it just ruins them. Um, I'm thinking maybe she had a necklace that she might be missing now that I think about it because there is a rubber band here that probably wouldn't be here otherwise. But again, like I'm not... I like to have my dolls complete, of course, like that's really cool, but it's not something that I'm going to be like, I have to have every single doll complete or I don't want to have them because, um, I don't know, as long as they have most of their stuff, they'd be fine. Like I wouldn't even need the bracers on this one to have her like acceptable in my collection, but I love the accessories of these dolls because they're that gold um, like chrome material, <laughs> plated, the gold plated material and I just think it's very pretty. Um, so yeah, three Monster High dolls. I never find Monster High dolls, especially not with their stuff. So this was a really exciting thrift day. I did, obviously not like huge amount of finds today, but, um, well, yesterday, <laughs> not a like enormous amount of finds or anything, but I was very happy with everything that I found and I'm excited to get them all washed up and put into my collection. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know if you've had any cool thrift finds lately, or if any of these dolls that I grabbed, like ring a bell to you or... I don't know. What's up? Anyway, <laughs> that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching for real this time. Bye.